What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We get you on the grind and improve your mind. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the power of music and how it can go from making you in a negative mindset to a positive mindset. We're gonna dissect that, let's go. In this video, we're gonna talk about the different kinds of music and how can it, it can affect your mood, how you can use it to motivate you and to keep your discipline and go. So basically, what we're saying is you need to switch up the kinds of music you listen to or maybe listen to nothing sometimes because I know even just for an example, like sometimes you may work out, sometimes you don't even need any music. You just need that pure, raw mentality. Because remember, back in the day, you know, when men worked and built pyramids, so we didn't have no music. So sometimes maybe you don't even need it. But when you do listen to music, you should be listening to stuff that really gets your mind going. Like me, for example, depending on the day, depending on the mood, I listen to some classic rock. I'll listen to some old metal if I'm in like a running mood or I want to... I'll listen to Freebird by Leonard Skinner when we used to do our runs, you know, back in the day when Corona first started because all you guys were locked inside, long story anyway. But depending on what kind of music you listen to can actually shape your day. And uh, I'll give you an example. So like if I'm going to work, you know, I can put on a song and it can get me in, in a certain mood when I go in and it makes the day a little bit easier. Like a lot of you guys, like you... A lot of you guys, let's be honest, you'll be listening to Snuff by Slipknot all day. So if you love me, let me go. And you'll be having that crap on repeat over and I mean, it's a good song. It's a great band. Fine. Cool. But when you listen to it over and over and you just drown your mind in negativity when that song comes from, that's when it becomes a bit too much. And a lot of you guys, I know you do that. You're at 2 a.m. You're eating cereal. You're listening to some sad music on TikTok or YouTube. I still see your shadows in my room. You're listening to all these uh, hip hop beats, like some sad vibe with, with a picture of uh, uh, Bart Simpson with, with the crying eyes. You guys know what video I'm talking about. Like sad songs that put me to sleep. Like, stop. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. Don't even listen to anything if you're going to be like that every, every night. You guys have got to switch up the tone. Yeah, like I understand. And listen, I understand why people would want to listen to this music. If you're in a horrible situation and you just need something to uh, like to listen to some music that makes you feel like the way that you're feeling right? And it gives you that sense that, oh, okay, I'm not alone in the situation I'm in. The feelings that I have right now, uh, someone else has had that. Like, it's, that's, that's fine. And that's, and that's perfectly normal and necessary. But the problem is, is that the purpose of that type of music is to push you forward a, away from that negativity into positivity and to get you to uh, learn from whatever mistakes or whatever you've gone through and to go forward and be a more positive force. But a lot of people, they don't want to do that. They want to stick back and they want to sit in, in their own darkness and in their own sadness with that, with that music. And listen, a lot of people who know me know that a long time ago, I used to always listen to one band and one band only in all their songs. I used to only listen to them. Andrew knows. I would listen to one band and the band was Mudvayne. So I, like, I would only listen to that band constantly. And I was very depressed and I was just listening to just their music. Now, granted, a lot of their music is not really about... Uh, depression and all that type of stuff, but it made how it made me feel was pretty much when I was not feeling okay. Like I would feel I would feel better listening to them, but I'd still be in this depressed state. And now that I've gone to and pushed forward through all that stuff, I don't listen to them as much. I really don't listen to them only when they really come on or like when I went to go see them in concert. Most recently, I would put put on their albums just so I can, you know, have that nostalgia of, of listening to them again because I really love that band. And the thing is, is that if you want to listen to sad songs, it's fine in moderation. Again, we use that for nutrition, now we're using it for music. If you want to listen to some sad songs just to make you, you know, understand some sort of feeling you might feel is okay, but you need to understand that you must push forward and push through through positivity because no one is going to want to deal with depression and sadness uh, when they can, you know, just push forward. A lot of these people that put out this music, they're depressed. You know, when they put out the sad music, they're depressed and stuff. But some of them push through that and they make other music and they, you know, make other things. There's a lot of bands that put out a lot of dark and uh, sad things, but they also make really happy and motivating and positive type of music. And that's where you should be moving to towards your music taste. Now, granted, it doesn't matter what genre you really listen to. It's, that's not really the point of the video. The point is to stay away from a lot of the negative type of things. Because if you listen to a lot of positive music, you know, it's going to relieve a lot of the stresses that you have. You're not going to be binge eating. Because I know a lot of people that listen to music that don't actually listen to a lot of music and they're sitting around, they'll, they'll eat. But if they listen to music 
especially positive music, they're going to be out and about. They're going to be doing things because they're motivated. They're motivated to be moving around, motivated to do some sort of type of work. And it helps you definitely from binge eating. So you guys got to be careful about like what you consume. You got to be very be careful. So here's a pro tip from, it's an all gains exclusive pro tip. If you want to be getting a good mood, I have the perfect song for you. You can listen to this on repeat. You can listen to this if you're at the gym. You can listen to this on the way to vacation with your friends. You can listen to this when you're just sitting down doing nothing. You can listen to this at any single time. The Incredibles, right? Go to the Incredibles soundtrack from 2004 and type in Life's Incredible Again. Listen to Life's Incredible Again by Michael Giochino from the Incredible soundtrack. You will not be disappointed. I just saved your life. You're welcome. So guys, pretty much the whole encompass of this video is to understand that if you are feeling sad and you're, fi and you're feeling some sort of way, it's okay to listen to you know that music once in a while or or for a little bit, but you need to understand that you must push forward and Don't you must it. listen to a lot of positive type music like Andrew was just showing you with the incredible soundtrack. That is a very good uh, track, by the way. Definitely listen to things that make you happy, things that make you want to work and do things and make you feel motivated because with that, it'll make you a more positive force in the world, which then will infect everyone else and everyone will be a more positive person. And we need a lot of that nowadays because there's a lot of negativity everywhere. So definitely- Stay, stay off CNN, stop it. Or Fox, <laughs> stay, stay off. Stay, stay, stay off the news, go out in the wilderness, go find yourself. Yes. And listen to Life's Incredible Again by Michael Giacchino from the Incredible Soundtrack. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. In the comments section, tell us your favorite song that motivates you, makes you happy down below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and then we'll see you guys in the next video. Woo.